Hello, welcome back to my channel. And right now, uh, we are still discussing IMO and ST. And in this video, we'll be discussing problems 7, 8, and 9. And okay, so just look, let's just look at problem 7. So find the positive integer k that satisfies this whole thing. So in case you forgot, so this 3 on the upper right corner is 3 to the power of 3, 3 times itself thrice, and then 6 times itself 6 times, and so on. So normally in dealing with this type of problems, uh, uh, my way of doing, so I'm showing this right now, would be to, okay, see 6 is equal to 2 times 3, right? So I'll just uh, write down first. Then 15 equals to 3 times 5, 21 equals to 3 times 7. 10 equals to 2 times 5, 14 equals to 2 times 7, and then 27 equals to 3 to the power of 3 itself. So we know that, okay, so if maybe say 6 to the power of n, 6 to the power of 6 would be 2 times 3 to the power of 6. Well, that would be 2 to the power of 6 times 3 to the power of 6, okay? So this is a very important way of dealing. And now we break it down. So we have 3 to the power of 3 here, and then we have... Uh, 2 to the power of 3, no, 2 to the power of 6, and then 3 to the power of 6, and then we have 3 to the power of 15, 5 to the power of 15, and then here we have 3 to the power of 21, and 7 to the power of 21, and then we have k to the power of k, and then this is what we'll find later. And on the right-hand side, so this is I right here, left-hand side, right-hand side, we would have 5 to the power of 5, 7 to the power of 7, no problem because both are prime numbers. 10 to the power of 10, we'll have 2 to the power of 10, and then 5 to the power of 10, and then 2 to the power and then 14 to the power of 14, we'll have 2 to the power of 14 and 7 to the power of 14. 27 to the power of 77, because we will have 3 to the power of 3 times 27. So this one here, indices will be multiplied, so it will have your U, 3 to the power of 81. So, okay, so looking at the, sim so we will need to combine all those indices. So uh, recall that when we say maybe 3 to the power of a times 3 to the power of b, we will have an outcome of 3 to the power of a plus b, okay? So, left hand side, if I further, how do I say, purify, I don't know, it will, it will yield 3 to the power of 45 times, uh, yeah, 2 to the power of 6 and then 3 to the power of, no, 7 to the power of 21, 5 to the, oh my god. Okay, so let me just erase this first. I'm so sorry. Okay, now 3 to the power of 45, 2 to the power of 6, and then 5 to the power of 15, 7 to the power of 21, and then k to the power of k. And then for the right hand side, we already have 5 to the power of 15, 7 to the power of 21, 2 to the power of 24, and 3 to the power of 81. Okay, so looking at both sides, left hand side and right hand side, we have 5 to the power of 15, both of the same, 7 to the power of 21, both have the same indice, and then now we are left with. Uh, okay, so here 3 to the power of 45, 3 to the power of 81, okay. So now we have 3 to the power of 45 times 2 to the power of 6 times k to the power of k is equals to 2 to the power of 24 times 3 to the power of 81. So indices we can minus, so it's 45, 81, so we can turn this into 81 minus 45. 81 minus 45 is equal to 36. And then we minus this one, so so. 24 minus 6 is 18. So k to the power of k is equal to 2 to the power of 18 times uh, 3 to the power of 36. And then uh, we want we want to make this 18. So just to make it have the same dice. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 36 divided by 2 is 18. And then we have, so we would have 2 times 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 18 incidentally we would get 18 to the power of 18 so yeah this is how i do it i'm not sure how you guys do it and so the answer to problem 7 is 18 so jot it down and we will now move on to problem 8 but give me a few seconds as i will need to erase okay now let's look at problem 8 so determine the number of integers k with 1 larger or equal to k or then k large smaller or equal to 2020 for which the sum 1 add, add up until k is divisible by 5. So divisible by 5 means, okay, so let's do this. Okay, um, for this one, uh, there's actually a formula for this. And i like to show it out for you, a very brief one, to be honest. So there's this mathematician called Goss. I don't know I how many times have I mentioned this. Uh? Okay, so what Goss did when he was young was that he 
did this whole thing, he copied it twice. Or should I say he doubled it? But then he started from the largest number. And then then move on to a smaller and then k minus two add up until one. So looking down vertically, so we will have this one one plus k is k plus one. Oh? And then two plus plus k minus one is also k plus one. Three plus k minus two is also k plus one. And then k plus one is also k plus one. Oh? And then we will have k of these. So it's k plus one. K times K plus 1 to be honest. But we only need half of we only need the half of whole of this. So this will be this will have a formula of K times K plus 1 divided by 2. So now uh we want we want to have a K such that this K times K plus 1 divided by 2 is a multiple of 5. Okay. So uh I would denote I would denote being divisible by 5 as such. So let me say 10 is a multiple of 5. So I'll write 5 and then I'll write a bar, barrier, and then I'll write 10. So what does this mean? It would mean either, imply either 5 is a factor of 10 or 10 is a multiple of 5, something like that. And this is also very commonly used in mathematical on bits. So now, either, either I would have uh, k is equal, no, yeah, 5 is a factor of k or 5 is a factor of k plus 1. So these two are all, can only exist in all conditions. So now let's look, okay? So so we start from the smallest case. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So if k equals to 5, no problem. Or if k plus 1 equals to 5, then k equals to 4, so no problem. And then we look at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we will have 9 plus 1 is close to 10, and 10 itself is also divisible by 5. So if we look further downwards, we will see that uh, for every 5, for every 5, consecutive numbers there will always be two of them which fit the criteria and co and coincidentally we will have 20 16 and then until 20 20 20 20 is actually the end of it is a also a multiple of 5 so we have in total 2020 20 divided by 5 equals to 404 404 how should i say sets are subsets something like that so we know that in every set of five numbers there are two of them which fit the criteria for k so 404 divided times 2 is 808 and this is actually the answer so now try and take a look at problem 9 as i erase it to be honest just now when i was doing problem 9 i didn't really observe it so now i've learned my lesson and my lesson to you guys is that when you do questions always look at the questions tries you do not want to make any mistakes okay so yeah my friendly reminder okay so now look at problem nine given a triangle abc point d is on the side bc so it's somewhere here point e is also on the side also on the side bc such that ae bisects angle cad so this is our angle cad and then our ae will bisect it bisect being this two, these two will have the same value these two will have the same magnitude if our angle ab is equal to 60 what is the angle of ACB? ACB being this one and ADB added together. Okay, so now uh, let's set a variable, not a variable actually. So maybe say this one is uh, Y. Okay, and then these two are axes. So we know from the so this sixty degrees is a x is an external angle of the triangle AEC. So we know from here x plus y is equal to sixty. So we know angle ACB is equal to Y. And now this angle ADB is also an external angle of, how should I say? Uh, triangle AED. And then it will be, okay, so now angle ADB will have, an, have a value of X plus 60. So now adding these two good, together, we and then using this fact, so we will have 60 plus X plus Y is 60 will be, 120 degrees so this is actually a very simple question i don't know why it took so long to do it maybe it's because i wasn't concentrating and so yeah we have reached the end of this video if you like it maybe you can subscribe to my channel to follow for more olympic content but uh just to give a notice i'll be ending my projects by the end of august and the consequential videos that i'll be releasing are actually all pre-made so do enjoy and i'll maybe it will stop at mid october something like that okay so have a nice day and bye-bye.